it's been a long time coming, but we finally got the new production, born again version of the Remington R51 9mm pistol. This is a dandy little pistol, it's thin, it's relatively light, it's, a, it's all metal, it's not a plastic gun. It's a, we reviewed this thing back in uh, February of 2014 uh, when Remington came out with it. We had a pre-production model, it ran perfectly, still does. Still got that gun, still runs fine. Uh, but when they went into production with it, they had some problems. Uh, long story short, a lot of the guns didn't work. Remington, uh, they really stepped up on it. They, they, instead of just trying to tweak it as it went, they shut down production. Everybody that had the uh, original guns, they offered them three options. Uh, Remington either give them their money back, or they would give them an uh, uh, R1 1911 45 which is a uh, cost a couple hundred dollars more than the R51, or uh, the owners had the option of waiting for the gun to go back in production, which that's what most people did. Those guns have already shipped to those people that waited on their uh, new production guns, but Remington's went through this thing entirely. They've uh, changed a few parts uh, dramatically, such the extractor, the ejector, and the disconnector. Um, but they've tweaked everything in the gun. They went over it from ground up, make sure this gun is going to go into production really well, and they're now in production on this new R51. Uh, this born again version, it, it runs smoother than my old one did. It still runs great. It runs on everything I've tried in it. And when I, when I got this thing here, I got out every kind of 9mm ammunition I could find from lightweight stuff, from, from some non branded cheap uh, factory reloads. Uh, to a hot plus P stuff. It runs great on everything. The only thing it had any problem with was the Lehigh Defense 85 grain uh, extreme penetrator and that little round just don't have enough recoil to cycle it every time. Wasn't ejected every time so don't recommend that one in it. Everything else I tried all the normal stuff from uh, just standard imported ball ammo runs great in it. All the way up to the plus P stuff. Everything uh, fired uh, ejected everything ran perfectly in this little gun anyway i think they got it right this time uh, this is a production gun it's not a pre-production gun these are in production now they're shipping now to distributors and from the time this uh, video goes up they will be on dealer shelves in a couple more weeks uh around early august of 2016 but been shooting this gun a lot a lot of accessories already available for it here on this original uh, you see the one I got from a couple years ago, it's got the uh, Crimson Trace laser guard on it, which adds uh, not even a half ounce to the weight of this thing, but it gives you a good laser. I really like a laser on a gun you carry for uh, defense because, uh, you know, you, sometimes you just can't bring that gun up to your line of sight. You can even shoot them, uh, from the hip like this if you have to, hold somebody back. You can put that dot on target. Uh, if you're on the ground, laying on your back, whatever, having to shoot underneath the car, around the corner, put that dot where you want the bullet to go, and it's going to work. Anyway, these are available now from Crimson Trace. There are several good holsters on the market. I like for inside the pants this crossbreed right here. Uh, they, they, it's a really good, comfortable way to conceal a handgun on your body. Also love this little Galco slide holster. Works really well. Got holsters here from DeSantis. They got holsters ready to go and from Talon. Uh, a lot of good holsters, a lot of good accessories on the market. Not anything you need for it. It's already out there ready to go. You know, I'm glad to see this gun made it. You know, I, uh, For a while, I didn't know if Remington was going to produce it or just scrap the idea, but it's a great design. I'm glad to see they went ahead with it, did what it took to get it running perfectly, and uh, it's uh, uh, available from Remington. Check them out at Remington.com. If you want to order one of these online, uh, go to galleryofguns.com and click on their Gun Genie, and you'll get bids from several dealers in your area competing for your business. You'll get a total cost on what the gun's going to cost you, shipped, transfer fees, taxes, and everything. Uh, you can find that out on the Gun Genie at galleryofguns.com.
even with plus P ammo, this uh, recoil on this thing is really easy to control. There's uh, no pain to the shooter's hand at all. Handles really well. It's a nice thin gun, but it don't hurt the hand, and it's easy to easy to stay on target with this Atomic uh, 124 grain plus P ammo. Been shooting our old buddy here, our Chrome Magnum Target. This thing groups right in here. This was from the other day. I don't, don't want to recycle a t-shirt like half thing. So these are all held right here in the uh, thorax region where we wanted it to go. Uh, it's a, a good, accurate, easy shooting pistol. A couple other things I want to mention on it, which we reviewed in our previous article. And if you want more details, you can go back there and read that from um, February of 2014. But there's some things that make this really unique. One is the shape of this. It's really, really easy to grip. Fixing the hand well. It's smooth on the back. Uh, the sight looking at it is opposite of what most sights look like. That's so it won't snag on anything. But it has a shelf on here. So if you need to chamber it on a, on a table or anything, you can push down on the heel of your boot. Something like that. And just cycle that thing like that. You can even do it on your belt. I don't recommend that because you'll end up with this thing pointing at your leg or something. But that little leg just makes it easy to cycle that thing if you have a problem cycling gun like this. Now the, the slide is not hard to cycle. The spring's not that heavy, so most people that can cycle any slide will be able to run this. It has no external safeties on it, so when, when you draw your weapon, it's ready to go. As you grab it, you'll depress this grip safety automatically. Naturally, that, that keeps it uh, from firing. If you drop the gun or anything like that, it automatically goes on safe. But when you grasp it, you depress that grip safety, makes it ready to go. A standard little pistol, I'm glad to see them back in production, available from Remington.